I have got to get out of here. Nice. I lost my hat though. Anyway, today I wanted to talk to you guys about a little something different. I get a lot of questions on the type of equipment I use to make these videos and what I've been using over the years. So in this video, I'm going to go over everything I use to make these videos about Montana. And if you're interested in using some of the same equipment or getting some of this equipment, I have links down below. So let's take a look. So since I was out of town this week, I thought it'd be a good time to do a little behind the scenes look and go over the equipment that I use to make these videos and tell you a little bit about my channel and what's gone into it over the past few years since we do get a lot of questions about what kind of equipment, cameras, and things that I use. And make sure you stick around for my drone story where I had a couple of seagulls almost cost me a ton of money. So let's get into it. When I first started, I started this channel in May of 2020, right, right during the pandemic or when it first got started. I had always talked about starting a YouTube channel, but never did. And when that happened, I thought, well, now's a, as good a time as any to do it. So I started making videos and I thought I'd do it for one year and just see what happened. So at that time, all I had was the iPhone 8 Plus the tripod that I'm filming on now and you would just clip the camera into this uh, little holder and it would screw on to the tripod it spins around so you get the landscape shot um, but because the better camera was on the other side I'd have to do it like this and the problem with that was is I couldn't see what I was doing so I'd have to walk back and forth all the time and make sure I was set up right um, but anyway, and then I had a, a, a lapel mic that had a wire, so I was connected to the camera all the time. So I had about 10 feet is all to talk. So if you look at all the, my old videos from 2020, I'm no further than 10 feet away from the camera because the, otherwise you'd see the wire hanging off of me and going to the camera. So that's how I made all my videos at that time. And the point is, is I had the one video go viral in September of that year, and that was with this minimal equipment, the iPhone 8, the tripod, and a lapel mic. So I had, you know, $20 into the microphone, another $25 into the tripod, and then the, then the phone. So if you're thinking about starting a channel, or you're interested in starting a channel, it just goes to show you don't need to spend a ton of money to get into it. But like I said, I filmed all those videos the first year with that setup, and I was trying to make money off of YouTube eventually, and the way you do that is you have to get a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours of watch time, and I was about six months in, uh, right before that viral video hit, I had 600 subscribers, and I forget how many hours of watch time, and I thought, well, I should make it within a year because you have 12 months to do it and then that viral video hit and <laughs> I had uh, there was one day where I got 2,500 subscribers in one day so that video was the greatest thing that ever happened to my channel and then I was able to monetize it and I told myself I'm gonna put all the money that I make from these ads which it's not tons I'm not like some of these big guys on YouTube but it's decent you know it's a nice extra money each month but I saved it to buy more equipment and just put it back into the channel to try and make my videos better. In December that year I bought this phone which was the iPhone 12 Pro Max and it just has you know it's upgraded like all of them it's got a better camera on it and I was using that from the end of December 2020 until uh, basically the spring of 2022 uh, and at that point, I just, you know, I was filming neighborhood videos and I was holding the camera and holding it out the window and I just figured I needed something better and I needed to get off the phone too because a lot of times when I was filming, I'd get a phone call in the middle of it and then it would knock the film off and I'd have to start all over and it was just kind of a pain. So in the spring of 2022, I got this phone. This is a Sony ZV-1, or this camera, I should say. Sony ZV-1. It's a small little camera, as you can see. It just fits in the palm of my hand. And uh, it's got a 
screen that comes out like that so I could put it on the tripod and see myself and see that everything was lined up. It also comes with this little miniature tripod that you can set up out in the field, um, set on the hood of the car, wherever you want to set it, or I was using it just to film and again hold out the window and it was a lot easier to hold on to and get footage uh, aside from the when I was using my phone. So I did that for most of 2022 and then uh, I found this other little camera and this is called the Osmo Action 3 and it's like a GoPro um, and it's it's tiny as you can see but it fits on this this selfie stick they call it uh, it locks on there and you can stretch it out so if you watch the Christmas video it almost looks like a drone shot and we just walk down the street holding this thing up with full extension and uh, you get, it gives you some better cool shots and the other thing is you can see here in this video I took it out the stability the technology on these little things is awesome uh, the stability I ran down a trail chasing my dogs as you can see and I was running and you know it looks very stable it looks like I'm you know it, it's on a it's on some kind of gimbal or something but I was actually running down the trail holding this thing up and the other thing this can do is right here you can see it'll go underwater so if I ever <laughs> if I ever need to do shots of Montana underwater I've got this um, it's also very good in the cold and I'm going to let some friends of mine that are skiers use it and get some shots of the ski runs at Whitefish Resort and all of that so kind of a cool little camera again a lot to learn there's a lot of technology on these things and um, but it's been fun and it's given me some good shots so far I forgot to mention when I got the Sony ZV-1 I couldn't exactly have the wire hooked up to it for my microphone so I ended up getting these DJI wireless microphones and these are awesome uh, I just clip them to my clothes uh, and talk they have a range of about 200 yards I haven't tried it out that far yet but the sound is really good and uh, they work well and I have had no problems with these so far they've been great so that brings me to my drone that I got late this past summer of 2022. It's a DJI Mini 3 Pro. Um, it's a good little drone. It does all kinds of things. Again, technology is awesome. Uh, it'll follow you around. It'll, you know, do different shots that are already programmed into it. So it's a great drone for what I need it for. But I'm still learning, getting used to it, learning the controls. Uh, there's a lot that goes into it as well but the story I have is right after I got it I was doing a video about uh, lakes in Montana and I was going to talk about the length of docks and the rules on the length of docks so I thought I'd go out to Whitefish Lake early one morning and just fly the drone there's a little park over on the west side of the lake and I thought I'll just fly the drone out and down and show the different docks and the different lengths of the docks uh, to make my point for the video but what I didn't know is that seagulls hate drones and I found this out after the fact but I was flying it out and I saw a couple seagulls take off right away and then they start kind of dive bombing it and going after it and I was quite a ways down the lake and I was freaked out because it was brand new and I was still not great at flying it yet uh, so I had to get it back to me as soon as possible and you can see in this video this is the actual video of that day, uh, these seagulls coming after it. But luckily I was able to get it back and landed without the seagulls hitting it. But if you want to go down a rabbit hole on YouTube, just type in seagulls and drone and there's a, hundreds of videos that I found out after the fact where people lose their drones because these seagulls will come down and they'll hit, you know, they'll clip the propeller with their feet and once that just stops one of the propellers, it just falls out of the sky. So uh, something you need to learn if you're getting a drone and be careful of if you're over water or you know way up in the air and you get hit by a bird or a seagull because it's going to be the end of your drone. So make sure you check the area for birds. It was a hard lesson that I didn't have to learn, but uh, luckily I learned and got, got away with it. So 
<laughs> that was a good thing. And so the last camera I got, and I just got it, I wanted, I've always wanted a, a nice high-end mirrorless camera that I could switch lenses on. Uh, so I just got this Sony a7 IV. And again, the technology is way beyond anything I know. And it's gonna take me a long time to learn how to use it to its full extent. And I'm not a photographer, never have been, but this will be able to, this will allow me to get good photos along with videos that I can use on my channel. And now I think I have everything covered and I don't think I really need any more video equipment. Everything I have right now will be perfect for the channel and it'll give high quality videos and you know good photos if I want them as well. So as far as the editing software I use, it's called Final Cut Pro. And I really enjoy the editing part. It's been a lot of fun. Um, again, technology, there's a million things to learn on it. There's a million things it can do. If you've watched the last few videos, I've been playing around with you know, making two of me, making Hillary appear, uh, different things like that. It's just been fun. Uh, I try and learn something new on every video because there, again, there's a million things. You could take a college course on this software uh, before you know everything. So I have a lot of learning to do there with the color grading and with all the different uh, little tricks you can do with it. But I really enjoy it. So if any of you guys are interested in, any, in this stuff, uh, interested in a YouTube channel, reach out. I could talk about this stuff all day. Uh, it's been a lot of fun and I'm planning on doing this for a long time to come. And hopefully with all this equipment, I'll just keep making better videos and thanks for watching. Thank you for watching our video. Please call, text, or email for more information. And don't forget to watch our other videos about Montana.